welcome back to the Kitagawa Europe Focus Channel. My name's Hamish Walker. And I'm Sophia. So Hamish, what have you got for me today? Jaw Finder Sensei, speeding me up on a rotary table, making me dizzy, speeding me up, slowing me down, and how do I get my hands dirty? <laughs> well, as always, we have something very special to show you and our viewers today. Great, Hamish. We're looking forward to it. Let's get on with it. Introducing the YS Modular System, where we can convert any of your rotary work holding systems normally fitted on lathes into static work holding systems for machining centres. Wait, haven't the wire static cylinders been around for a while? You got me, you're completely right. Um, the wire cylinders have been around for a little while. Now these are static cylinders um, and can easily be mounted onto a machine bed. I guess this is the heart of the uh, YS modular system. Okay, so what's new about the YS modular system? Well, the new concept is how we offer it to the customer. We've essentially made the difficult work holding decision much easier and faster to identify. So you could almost say that this system Don't is... Don't say it. Is... Don't say it. <laughs> better, faster, better, faster, better, faster, better, faster. Brilliant. The YS cylinders are available in three different sizes to suit uh, 6, 8 and 10 inch chuck sizes, all with a standard mounting interface. I can see they aren't very tall as well. That must give you an excellent machining envelope. Yeah, this uh, low profile allows you to select much uh, larger work holding and work pieces and still not interfere too much with the overall Z height of the machine. The six inch cylinder uh, has an overall height of just 72 millimeters. Okay, so are they hydraulic or pneumatically actuated? Well, both or either. Um, the 10 inch cylinder can deliver up to 51 kilonewtons of pull force using hydraulics and has a stroke of 20 millimeters. Now this is easily enough to operate a 10 inch chuck. Impressive Hamish. Should we look at some work holding options? No problem. Let's go to the shop floor. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Wow, okay. I can see we've got the BRO6 chuck already mounted here. Next generation stuff. <laughs> We're currently displaying the YS 1415 static cylinder with a uh, BRO6 power chuck installed. I've also noticed you've mounted a square workpiece on a three-jaw chuck. And that is impressive, because I always thought that you had to have a four-jaw chuck for this. Not at all. Kitagawa Europe can manufacture soft jaws to suit a square component uh, that will be gripped just as accurately um, and stably as a four-jaw chuck. Uh, this is suitable for turning and milling operations. Uh, do you want to see some more work holding? Of course. So here we have on display the DHP52, a pullback quick change collet chuck for bar shaped work pieces. Yeah, I'm very familiar with the collet chuck. It's very easy to change the collet sizes. And you can also use different shaped bar, right? Yeah, exactly. Collets are available in round, square and hex profiles with a gripping range of three millimeters up to 80 millimeters. So also available is our expanding mandrel series, uh, which are for internal gripping. Amazing. Tell me about the mandrel system. All Kitagawa Europe mandrels have a pullback function where the workpiece is pulled back onto a parts locator. This ensures the workpiece is gripped incredibly securely, allowing you to machine harder and faster. Harder and faster, I like it. What kind of sizes of workpieces can be used? Well, anything from 12 millimeters up to 82 millimeters. We can also manufacture specials for larger workpieces. Um, I guess because the cylinder is so versatile, the work holding options are limitless. Exactly. Kitagawa Europe have released a few models, a few of which you can see here today, including uh, BR chuck, expanding mandrel and collar chuck. But as you say, the work holding options are essentially limitless. The system allows you to have multiple cylinders on a single machine bed with work holding and can easily be automated. So what's this? Uh, so this is the uh, wire cylinders protective cap. This allows you to keep the cylinder installed on the machine bed uh, while you're machining on another fixture and not damage the cylinder. Such a simple yet vital piece of equipment that I'm sure will massively reduce setup time. Thank you for showing me this great system. Thanks very much, Sophia. And if you want to find out any more information on the YS modular system, please visit the uh, Kitagawa Europe website. We have a brand new catalogue with lots of really, really great information. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon on the Focus Channel.